G'day everyone and welcome back for the next part in this um, Songs of the Sea uh, project. So I've done a few things in the time that has gone since the last um, time I filmed. So I finished off this. What I ended up doing was just putting a bit of craft paper in there. Um, just like, you know, normal craft sketch paper, not cardstock kind of paper. Just adding, making that. Um, I'm not going to put anything in here unless I end up with stuff that might fit in there at the end. Um, and then just sew it in with a three hole pamphlet. That is how the little um, little dotty dots ended up looking. Okay, so the little liquid pearls, they, they do shrink down quite a lot, but it just adds a little something to it. And I'm like, did that just move off? Of course it did. Well, that's alright, we'll glue it back down, hey. Tammy, don't don't rub against it quite so much is probably the, the lesson learnt there. They aren't um, Tammy resistant. Um, generally happens. Okay, so we've got them. And then I have gone and just done basic photo matting on the inside here on the inside here. Now this one continues, and let's see if I can show you, oh, no, it's like room back here, no, no, okay, we'll open this up, okay, so we got this photo mat here, and then if we open up this one, the awkwardness, and this one, this actually is the continuation of this page here, so it kind of continues down. And I did leave um, it as a little tuck spot. So it's double tuck spot, one here and one there, just in case. Um, you know, you never know. Opportunities there, why not? And then I've got the sides. So we've got some there and some there. I will come and put those liquid pearls on it when it's time for it to kind of dry into the, to the night. Um, so I've done that. And I think I made this side here as well into I did into two little tuck spots as well um, so that'd go down into there so that's kind of what I've done with that and then I figured we'll get on and finish um, this this page off which shouldn't take too long so I've got pulled out from the 8x8 pad so I think this is the background and then this one here and um, I've just put a little bit of um, scrap cardstock along this sail line here because what I'm going to do is cut along it as to make a little tuck spot. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Out of the way. Go away. All right. And I'm going to get a little thing there. And I'm going to cut along from the top of the mast down to the end of the sail. Seems like the perfect place to make a little tuck spot. And then my dog goes a running. And chasing a cat, probably. Okay. So we've got that one there. Nice little tidy tuck spot in there. Um, you can just put a little bit of, not too much, don't want a super amount of ink there, but it's always nice to just add a little bit because it kind of shows that it exists. Right. I always like these little, little, little tucky spots that people can use if they choose to. Alright, so let's um, just do that up in the sense that I'm going to put some double sided tape along here um, along this one here just to help hold it down um, and then back along here as well Okay. All right. Now well, let's bring the the piece, the resistance, back out here. Okay. Let's 
is going to go along here. So let's ink on the outside. Nice thing here is that I designed it so I don't really have to cut down these sheets, which is great. Um, the least amount of cutting, the better. More chances of it actually being straight. Um, yes. Alright. Let's go there. Some, put some glue. Go this one. Hey, what's the date? Day's been a busy day at work. Well, um, it's a busy day. Um, I got got a few super visions for my classes as well, so I just haven't stopped. I was like, boom, 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 boom. It was nice. My super visions were some mass classes, and I, 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 I like teaching mass. I don't get much of an opportunity to, so. That was nice. They always surprise when I go in and actually teach them in a supervising class rather than not. Um, but yeah, I actually like to do that. I'm just going to run a bit of glue just along here too, just to help that double side tape. Um, double side tapes just to make sure it actually stays like kind of there. And I, I know where not to glue, if that makes sense. It's more of a guideline for me than really any other purpose. Um, basically just to say don't glue here and it's like okay I won't right. Right. got that one down and then I've got this one here which will fit along here and I figured might make this into a little um, tuck spot as well, so like a little little pocket. Um, into um, three sides. I don't think I'm going to halve this one. See how much it gapes. If need be, I will. Yeah. All right. There we go. So a nice little tuck spot in here. In there we go one, and then also into that. So some opportunities if you want to put something there, but if not, it's just a nice place to rest, um, have a break from, from the photos, enjoy the the um, papers for what they are. Okay, so now we have to look at what we're going to do here. And I was like, most of it is going to be in the background and hidden. And I'm like, well, for that, I don't want to waste one of their papers. So I've got one of the papers from that um, Kaiser Craft paper pad that I showed at the in the first part. But basically just a piece of paper that's in the background. You could use craft paper, you could use anything. But I figured I've got these, so I might as well use them. So I'm going to cut off the, um, the you know, whatever that strip is called. I know there's a word for it. Brain is denying me the understanding of that word right now. But I have cut it off. Okay, and I'm going to leave that for now after all of that and going to think about what we're going to do for the designs all right so i've got two shapes here the two cut things that are cut out at five and seven eighths by five and three quarters that are going to fit um along here so i, I believe that the five and the seven eighths is the this way yes so this is the five and seven eighths way across the horizontal Okay, now I've got that there to remind me that I want to do the fancy die, which means is that I've got to think of the paper that I want to use. But before I do the fancy die, I actually want to cut out a frame in here. So that's going to be the first thing. So I'm going to get rid of this. Right, go away. You can go away for a while. And we're going to come back to this one. And I have a, a frame. Um, 
maker thing from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, you don't need to use this. You can use um, a ruler and um, cut it out with, with a knife um, or with your trimmer. But I'm going to use this because I have it. Um, but like I said, you don't you don't need to. I'm just going to fold these back because what the size of the frame I want to make, I need these folded back. So I'm going to miter them out. <laughs> That's done. One, two. I'm going to do the same for this one. Basically, I want to decide whether I want a three-quarter inch frame or a half inch frame. A um, inch frame. If I do an inch frame, then they're going to be that big in the middle, which is kind of cool. Three quarters. I only get three quarters. All right. I'm just talking to myself now. Yeah. If I go, that one there is the three-quarter mark. I picked this up off marketplace and it's it's a cool little invention. So you just slide it in and you punch the these guys. Might not end up doing a fancy little thing now that I've decided to do this. I wanted to see kind of how it rolled and whether I'd have room to do a little divot. We will have a look. Okay, so they've, they've been cut out. And then this guy here is used to cut them. So, oh, I always lose the little beaver lucky. Beaver lucky. Where did the beaver lucky go? little blady thing. Okay. So this goes in here. And cut along there. Ah. And goes along there. Goes in. Cut along there. Good. Maybe if I press down with any actual effort there. Done. And done. Right. And then we pop this out. This is the one where I went skew if, which I tend to do. Right. Yeah. And then we have a nice little frame. All cut out. Do that again. See if I can do it any better this time. Probably not. One. Two. Three. Alright. Okay, so we got that. being cut out. Now, let's have a look at this beaver lucky and see. We could just do maybe not the whole thing but just like a little bit of it because it looks pretty. So maybe like to there. Good work. That way it continues the kind of patterning across which means that I've got to get some paper for this. So let me think about which one I'm going to use. 
Okay, so I'm back and I've thought about it. Um, and I'm going to use bits of that are left over from this, because this only needs to be eight inches high, so probably. Um, so I've just made some out of the leftover bits. And then I figured, why not use that branding strip? Because the word finally come to me. Um, and we'll cut this out. So I'm going to do um, the same thing as we did before, where I'm going to put this up, this into the center, run it through the dye machine, and then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I'll cut them out. Let's um, decorate this up and see what eventuates from sadness. So let's get the longer lines. Were they, no, they weren't the longer ones. So these ones were five long. And all going well. Of course, I have to cut a little bit off. That's all right. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. So I'm just going to snip that bit off. I'm gonna, I like this end down there better. I'm going to snip that bit off. Right. Alrighty. So, if I do this, let's um, ink these fellas up. I only need to ink this side, this side, and this side. I'll do one with you and then I'll do the other one off screen. Trying to be mindful. I'm like, it's just, it is. It's honestly trying to find that balance about um, if you're happy to sit here and listen to me waffle on while I try and figure out what I'm doing here. Because I kind of have an idea, but that doesn't mean that, that my idea actually ever eventuates. Um, so it's that kind of a yell. Yeah, so let's put that one there. All right. Um, there. that down a little bit. No, 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 no. Just move. Alright. Then we'll go for a short piece and press the button. Which I've cut too short. Of course I have. That's alright. We'll make it work. We're going to make it work. I'm gonna go yeah I am here and no I'm just not I'm gonna cut another I'm gonna cut another strip I'm like why am I doing this I've got plenty of leftovers I want it to look right okay so let's go here and there. At. Beep, 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 beep. See, I don't feel bad with this stuff because it's single sided. So it's like, oh, I'm not rejecting the other side. one theoretically flip it on top excellent ink this one up meow 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 So we got that. All right, I'm gonna go do the other one, and then I'll be back. 
Oakley Oakley. So those pieces are done. So now we're coming to the next parts, which are, oh my god, why do I make myself so difficult? Life so difficult. I'm going to put this across at the back of this, so I'm going to get this out of the back yet. Out of the packet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to uh, about there will fit in. Alright. Thanks. I got that one. Now we'll see how we go with this one. We can go for. I reckon if we go through the centre there, that'll look good. Be, no, I need to come down a little bit more. Okay. Alright. Hey. Um, I just went crooked, that's why. I went crooked. Yeah. a little bit better now. Something like that. How's that? All right. Looks good. So we're going to put that across the top. <sighs> Fun. Not. Okay. Right. Let's go meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I'm just kind of guesstimating. Kind of about where it might be. Mm. Okay. Boom. Done. That one. Alright. It's like rinse and repeat. that it's kind of cool now the question is do I want to put so I made this with some alcohol inks on a bit of acetate um, just with some blue acetate uh, blue alcohol inks and a bit of pearlized one and I'm like do I want to I kind of I think it kind of looks cool behind 
So I'm just going to cut a little bit of that out and then come back. Okay, so I've got this one done. It's in. So what I've done is I've cut it to fit within and I've added a bit of red tape onto the sides. So let's um, take this off. And then I have to ignore the sounds of the background for my cooking dinner. And it's not me. It's great. I like it. All right. Uh, okay. they're, they're, they're going on. Alright. Alright. Okay. So we've got them. So let's bring back our book. And they, they're not even figuring out that I'm filming over here. It's like, yeah, she's talking to herself. And I'm like, no, I'm filming. I did tell you that. But, you know. So maybe they might listen. Probably not. Okay. And they're still talking. I like how they squished it. Still talking. Right. Okay. Now let's position this into the center. I don't think I need to take too much off this little corner. I'm just going to kind of round it off. Alright. Because that could sit there and there looks about good. Looks looks good. Okay. I'm just gonna round that one a little bit more. Uh, Alright. Okay. I'm gonna put this one on. Actually no, I'm gonna put this one on. Put this one on first, okay? There we go. I'll go there. And hold this down. Alright, so got this glued down here. Um, and so that's that one there. Alrighty. Ah, no, no, it won't be because apparently oh. you moved it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Leave it there, and then we go this one. McBean and there we go. Alright. Okay, now we can glue these down. Okay, so we can glue them down uh, because we're going to come back and we're going to put these in, but I'm going to do it a fancy way. We'll see if it works. Alright. I'm not worried about the. Um... Actually, no, I'm going to put some there just for safety. It's going to get covered, um, so I'm not too worried. Um, all right, just to help me when I'm putting the other bit in, basically. Um. Is Emily still here? 
No. Okay. All right. So I've got that. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to see if this is going to go in between these guys, or I need to trim it a little bit more. I do need to little trim it down a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off the edge. All right. Let's see what we can do. So theoretically, now that will slide in between those two. Cool. And now I'm going to mark there and there okay and I'm going to make it to this other way come along No, I don't want that one. Oh, I don't want that one. Which one do I want? I think I want this one because I can drop this one. It's like 5,000 cutters and we get them to work. Okay. All right. Okay, up about that far and that'll be more than that. I can drop out there. No. A little bit more there, and then we'll go for this one. Okay, we got that. Let's trim that out. Bring this one back. Yeah, let's see if this will work. You might have to do some adjustments. Okay. A little bit more. Not too much more, but... That's pretty good. That would be it. All right. Okay. Let's put a bum on up here. And ink this up. And it really needs to be ink up the top area. The rest is all going into the to the pockets and kind of a little bit there to see on the safe side. Okay, I'm gonna just add a little bit more. There. All right. There. And then in again. And I'm gonna come in. Glue along here, maybe. She blows. Right. So we've got a nice little double pocket one there. Okay, so let's have a look at how she looks all done. Right. We'll come back, like I said. So this one, there? Okay, open up. Right. 
we will add some decorations and things into this as we when we get to it open up like that we've got our little pockets there that will then lift up got that one there this one will come down i've got this here and a little tuck spot here and here we got that okay so that one's up right. then we've got obviously these two pockets here so we will make some bags to go into them it does not get that I'm filming anyway. Alright, so we've got that. Okay, so we've got the tuck pot, tuck pot there, and then we've got that one that goes into here. Alright, and opening up. And then this side here, a little tuck spot there, a little tuck spot there. And then obviously this guy here with our little tag at the back so that we can put a little photo in to that. And it pops on up. Okay, here we go. So let's fold it all back up. That is page one. Half done, except for the last little bit of decorating. Awesome. And look at that, look, under an hour for this one. Mainly because I, you know, did most of it off camera. Just to try and save you. Okay, I'm going to go so he can go continue to bang what the steak or whatever he's flattening out that over there. And I will um, see you in the next one. As always, remember, be kind, be strong, be warm. And see you later. Bye.